What up, YouTube? I got about five of these peach bush lights left. Not a sponsor. Really good beer. I like it. I bought a 30 pack of it. What was it, Monday or Tuesday? And I'm down to my last five on Saturday. So I'm definitely cutting down on my drinking. Making that 30 pack last. But it's Saturday, I'm gonna go live, have a couple beers, just hang out with y'all. I got like five beers to my name, and that's all really all I need. I drank one earlier before doing the stream, so there you go. 30 pack of Bush Peach Lights. Has lasted me since like Monday or Tuesday, so I've definitely cut down on my drinking. It's cheaper on the wallet, and I get buzzed a little bit quicker. I love my fans, but don't just show up to my apartment, please. A little re respect and privacy, that kind of thing. You want to hang out, grab a beer, whatever, fine. But, like, give me a heads up, man. Shoot me a text. Like, Cobra, I'm in town, man. Can I hang out and just meet you? I'm down to meet my fans. You know, I don't give a shit if people take me seriously or not, quite frankly. I'm just doing my thing, just trying to live my life. I got a new documentary out, which I liked the way it was filmed. The editing was nice. I don't appreciate being called dumb or filmed to look like some narcissistic, self-absorbed retard who talks too much. The dude came to Casper and started asking me questions and then filmed himself asking me questions. Like, what do you do all day? What do you what are your hobbies? And I was like kind of taking it back, to be honest. When he called me a fucking idiot and had this grossed out look on his face, I'm like, then why the fuck did you make the journey if you were grossed out by snakes and lizards it is what it is it's free exposure so you read between the lines it's, it's, it's another documentary and the whole time I was just sitting there dogging on my cooking calling me an idiot not the worst thing i've had well good i'm glad they went out of their way to be nice to me, taking me out for food, buying me tobacco and legal city weed. And, you know, I thought they were legit, but I don't know what to think, man. I literally dusted my TV stand within a day of them filming it. Did they bother refilming it and say, oh, no, Cobra cleaned his TV stand? No, of course they didn't, which made it funnier for me because the trolls seem to think I'm some disgusting, filthy swine, slob, retard. So when they're like, oh, you know, Cobra's apartment's not as filthy as the internet thinks, and he actually doesn't stink. So I, I do appreciate him saying that. The way it was filmed, it wasn't entirely bad. There were some parts I didn't like. And I asked him if he would send me a copy of the final documentary before posting it on YouTube. He said, yeah, I can do that. I gave him my email. And he completely disregarded that and just posted it anyways. And I'm like, whatever, dude. Do I care if the governor of Casper has never heard of me? No, honestly, no. He seemed like a really chill dude. And I appreciate him taking the time out of his busy day to do the interview. I'm going to pour some out for uh, Mr. Tony Bennett. He's up there with Frank Sinatra having a glass of Jack Daniels. It's 2023. You got to love your body. And no one else thinks you're attractive. That's their problem. If you think you're attractive, that's all that matters. The Cyrex gets so pissed off when no one takes him seriously. I'm like... Bro, that's only going to encourage. I fucking hate Cyrax. That's the only thing that's going. That's just going to make it worse, dude. 
from somebody who gets trolled when you freak out on camera or act a fool or overreact. People egg it on because the world's a sick and fucked off place. Outside of Cyrax being a sick fuck piece of shit, I fucking hate sickos more than I love this beer. Egging someone on for because they have mental disabilities. I mean, Cyrax is a piece of shit, so it's kind of funny when you do it to him, but then there's other people who aren't so bad that people egg on for entertainment, and it's disgusting. I think Cyrax just needs to get off the fucking internet. Go to some counseling. Get on some kind of psych meds and seek mental help. And to be locked up in an adult facility like the drunken peasants mentioned. I'm sorry, but if you beat up your grandmother because she takes away your fucking internet, you're an inhuman piece of shit. And on top of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's a fucking sicko on top of it. Like, ew, dude. It's the fucking worst, YouTube. I find out you're a sicko, and I don't want nothing to do with you. Because if you're looking at people under a certain age the way I look at Amaranth, you're a disgusting fucker. You want to get a chick? You don't stalk her at her house. That's creepy, dude. Stop. You want to get that chick? Try running into her accidentally several miles away from her house and engaging in polite, casual conversation. Nothing about sex, marriage, or any of that crap. Fuck Mr. Lantern while we're at it. Because he's a little slow, people stick up for him, and I'm like, dude, fuck that. Don't defend his actions because he's retarded. To a point, there are some people who can't help it because they're just naturally retarded. But you don't just let them get away with it. You redirect them and be like, no, we don't do that. It's the truth. If a grown-ass man robs a bank and he's not retarded, he, he doesn't get told, well, that's just his, his uh, disability. He can't help it. No, fuck that. They're, they're throwing his ass in jail. Yeah. But if you got the mentality of a kid, but you're in an adult body, I get why people are going to be like, hey, man, that's, that's an eight-year-old trapped in a 40-year-old's body. They're a, little, they're a little bit of Goonies monster, if you catch my drift. Okay, nothing against the special needs, but I'm just saying, yo, fuck Cyrax and fuck Mr. Lantern. And fuck CP, that shit's gross. You can't watch two grown-ass women do it, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm so grossed out by sickos, I just, it, it doesn't compute. It doesn't. The movie Cuties is gross. Never seen it, never will. Fuck Chris Chan. He's a sicko and a piece of shit. And fuck sickos. Justin, thank you for your $1 cash app. For daddy? I don't even know what that means. Chris, thank you for your $2. Shout out to Derek for his first DWI. Max, I'll go live when I want to. Thank you for your $5. John says they want to make a quality documentary unlike your favorite son. It is what it is. The last person claiming to be a fan, too, so. 
And they turn around and stab me in the back and call me dumb. Patrick, thank you for your 50 cent donation to PayPal. He writes, Nathan eats his own shit. That's fucking disgusting. Only $7.70 in the negative. That's not bad. Calling me an e-bagger shows that you're jealous that Cobra gets to make money drinking beer on YouTube. What the fuck are you doing with your life? I hate sickos more than I love Cobras. I'd sacrifice all the alcohol in the world to end sickos. Hey, Cobra, we told you not to go live and drink beer, got it? And I told my trolls, one, you can't tell me shit. And two, no one's forcing you to watch my videos. Oh, and three, thanks for watching my videos. I no longer get mad at my trolls' text messages that they send me. I just, I make a game out of it, you know? Why get mad if... You got a handful of people who use burner cell phone numbers with some shitty cell phone app who were this dedicated to fucking with me. And then they say, well, Cobra, you're not famous. Really, if I wasn't famous, you wouldn't give a shit about fucking with me or, or getting a response. But when it's the response you don't want, all of a sudden trolling Cobra, it, it's no longer fun. I fucking hate sickos, and that's what the beer tells me. Now, I'm not sponsored by Bush, but this is that's what I do on my channel, you know. I fucking do reviews of drinks and food, and I come up with some random concoction. Whenever I see people who are more special needs than I am getting bullied on the internet, I'm like, you're a cowardly piece of shit. Why don't you come pick on some of your own fucking, you know, mental strength. I don't claim to be the smartest person on the planet, but I'm a lot smarter than people give me credit for. People automatically assume because I drink and because I have Asperger's that I'm just some stupid retard on the internet, but it's like... If that's your perception of me, then by all means, that's your perception. But to play off like you're stupid when you're actually a lot smarter than you give than you're given credit for, that takes true smarts. People are like, Cobra, you need to get laid. And I'm like, ending sickos is more important to me than getting laid. I got nasty ass fucking teeth and I still pull chicks to watch my videos. It's all about the game, man, and pulling chicks ain't about fucking bitches. You feel me on this, YouTube? It's like when your dick causes a fight between two chicks, just be a bigger dick and be like, I don't want no part of this. Y'all are two consenting, alive, non-related adults. You're doing your thing. However, it's kind of fucked up when you playing off like, yeah, girl, I'll be your one and only. No, honey, I wasn't cheating on you. My buddy Chad threw a glitter bomb on me. That fucking asshole. <laughs> that man got him some bush. Cobes, if you try turning off slow mode to trolls, Drown each other out with nonstop comments. It's a good strategy to make them fight with one another. Thank you, your friend Ryan. Thanks, Ryan, for the one dollar to Cash App and PayPal. Oh, I'll actually piss off my YouTube trolls. First, I want to blow my trolls a kiss. <coughs> God damn it. <laughs> Woo! 
Yeah. We're turning around too soon. Oh, that's gnarly. The praying mantis staff has been sold, but thank you for your interest in Cobra Craft. Can you conjure me up a dry spell? I don't have to, bud. All you gotta do is just say no to sex. Oh, you're fucking funny, dude. You are fucking hilarious. Oh, shit. Oops, did I do that on purpose? Wah -ha -ha! I got my dick wet on stream. I got me some bush, YouTube. Look at me go. See, if you're going to make fun of Cobra's dry spell, at least be funny about it. Thank you, Anna, for your $2. Congrats on to Angus on the mattress removal. Hey to Sean and the chair bugs. Whatever that means. But thank you for your generosity of $2. Nathan, thank you for your $50. He writes, his friend Josh likes to eat his own. That's disgusting. Willie, thank you for your one cent donation. I bought you a ticket to go to a nude resort in Jamaica. Pack your bags. Uh, I'm good on that, Willie. Thank you. Why would I go to a nude resort when I could just stay at home and for the price of my internet watch Chatterbait? I figured out the problem with the fruit flies and I fixed it. That's why in my latest cooking videos, you don't see that crap. Huh? When you're watching me doing the cooking segments with my new burger with the fucking egg rolls, you don't see shit buzzing around it, you don't. Lane, thank you for your two dollars to Cash App. My friend Zach came out as trans today, so proud. Yeah, I'm proud for you, Lane, and shout out to Zach. Congratulations. It's the fucking weekend, and... Eh. He did not. Fuck you, he did not die. It's like, oh I know, Cobra's one of Ozzy Osbourne's biggest fans. Let's donate to talk shit. Uh, Gareth, go fuck yourself. Thanks for your one dollar and long live Ozzy. Gareth says, I need to take my wands on Shark Tank. I don't really need to do that, man. There are plenty of people who want to buy them. And I'm not going to take what you say seriously, especially after you're talking shit on Ozzy, dude. Fuck off. Uh, <sighs> Excuse me, folks. Uh. Okay, so I was like a little sip short. Uh, Willie, see, it's not gonna happen, man. I don't have the money or the time to travel to the airport. They wrote, I already paid for our flights and the resort for a week. We will record the album while they're smoking ganja while nude. Yeah, that's an obvious troll. It's not going to happen, dude. I'm not going to no goddamn nude resort. That's fucking retarded. No offense to anyone who does that kind of thing. I ain't got the money to travel to no goddamn airport. You might have bought me tickets, allegedly. But you got to think, I got to pack up my shit, find someone to watch Puff, and do all this stuff, and it's like, dude, you don't, you, you don't, you don't give me any fucking notice. You don't even contact my ass. You just straight up expect me to show up because you bought it. Fuck off. Oh, look at that, twelve dollars, eh? Yeah. I gotta take a wicked beer piss, dude.
That's better. Talk about a live stream. Piss off your fucking wanks. Money request for six dollars and sixty six cents. Help me, Boggy, stupid Boglum. It's like, bro, I can't afford to do that. Sorry. Not trying to insult Ozzy Osbourne, but it's like I look like Ozzy Osbourne with fetal alcohol syndrome. Piss off. <laughs> Like if Ozzy Osbourne and like Uncle Fester had a baby together. Ozzy Osbourne's actually a handsome man. I'm just a fucking drunk retard, right? The trolls have no effect on me because honestly... No offense to anyone, but I have a negative self-esteem about myself to begin with. That's why the trolls have no effect on me, is because I call myself an ugly fucking bald retard all the time. Willie G, you're fucking stupid. My dad wouldn't do that. I'm not even going to justify responding to that. Jesus fucking. People are just so fucking... So oh, we got COVID to say it on live. Ha-ha. Uh -huh. I told this fucking fat wanker that it's not gonna fucking happen. I don't want to go to your stupid fucking nude resorts. But I know you're full of shit. It takes real willpower to cut down on your drinking when it's right in front of you, you know. For me, it's a personal choice. I'm like, if Ozzy Osbourne can cut down on his drinking, so can I. Am I going to stop drinking? Oh, fuck no, I'm not going to stop drinking. That would be boring as shit. No offense to anyone, but... This is what kills me about Alcoholics Anonymous. They don't, you know... And some people are just not capable of doing it. So you just... No offense to anyone, you know. So I get that. For the select few of us that are more functioning with our alcoholism... Because there's been times I've craved a beer, and I'm like, yeah, a beer always sounds good, but I don't need it. I don't need it to enjoy myself. Now, on top of dealing with periods, menstrual cramps, and all the crap that women have to go through, now you have to deal with nobody giving a shit about your emotions. But hey, it's worth it. You get equal pay, right? Uh -huh. You know, and that's what kills me about it. We can make these pills that give men their boners back. But here's a woman in her 30s to 40s who's chosen the career life. And now she's got a successful career. But her uterus says, you're not going to have kids because you stopped having periods. So it's like, well, ain't that a bitch? She hit menopause a little early, and now she can't have kids. It's not having kids, I'll tell you that right now. Ugh, fuck. Woo, that smells like beef and bacon. I got some stank on it. You know, that magical time in a uh, woman's life where she's like, oh, she can no longer get pregnant. Her hormones kick in. And she's just like, now the only thing she's got to worry about is STIs if she's with multiple partners. God damn it, I feel sorry for women, man. Periods, hysterectomies. You've got nothing better to do than tattletale on Cobra to his landlord because you're so obsessed with hating Cobra that you want to see me get kicked out of my apartment or whatever a second time. And when it doesn't work because my landlord's a fan of my videos, what the fuck are you going to do then? Well, that's that. It's like you're going to call me a fucking alcoholic in the documentary, but then contribute to, to it. 
you know, that's what kills me about it. Not trying to talk shit on your favorite son, but it's like, you want to call me an alcoholic and a piece of shit and this and that or whatever he said. And then you want to contribute to it by taking me out to a bar. That's what I don't get. You offer me a drink, I'm going to drink it. That seems kind of a bit unfair, but then again, life ain't fair. You miss young, Josh. Motherfucker, I'm still young. I'm only 32 years old. Well, it's not even about that. In fact, that comment was so stupid, it's going to get you banned from my channel. You look 50. Oh, you look 60 years old. Yeah, well, I still look better than you. You have a good heart, just a poop mind. I disagree. My mind is a lot sharper than people give me credit for.